The union representing Seattle school bus drivers is raising concerns about their ability to scale up transportation for in-person learning. King 5's Michael Crow is at district headquarters with what they're saying. The issue here is one of timing, according to the bus drivers union. They say these schedules as they are set to return to in-person learning mean the same driver could not take somebody leaving the morning session and then return with a new batch of students for the PM session without being in two places at once. They say that's going to lead to part time work for drivers that's not going to be sustainable. And as we know, access for students to busing is also an issue of equity. In Seattle, grades K through five return to some in person instruction this week, half days, four days a week, divided among morning and afternoon cohorts. And with students grades six through 12 eligible for two half days of in person learning starting April 19th, the union representing Seattle bus drivers is raising schedule concerns, namely that there will not be enough time for drivers to do morning and afternoon transport. There needs to be a two hours in between uh, bell schedules so that they can accommodate taking everybody to and from school. Current plans leave between 45 minutes to an hour for students to move between in-person and remote learning. The issue there, the union says that will put bus drivers at part-time work too, making it harder to find drivers at all. There's currently a shortage since many found new work during the pandemic. The Seattle School Board actually did make some bell changes at the end of March to try and increase yellow bus access. But the district has also said that limited resources means right now they can only provide busing to those legally entitled to it, like students with special needs, education plans, or experiencing homelessness. But today, a district spokesperson told me they are working to increase access in a turbulent time. But as for all the other students who also who oh, desperately need transportation so that their parents can go back to work, uh, those students are sort of going to be left behind. Yeah. And I think the district is sort of counting on the parents to pick up the slack, which is not a good solution. Parents are tired of picking up the slack. Seattle Public Schools says they're focused on the students when they are designing these plans. They do say, though, that the transportation issue really got a wrench thrown in there when the governor started to mandate they offer some in-person learning, which they are, of course, working to do with that April 19th deadline. One other thing, they are planning to offer 6th through 12th graders ORCA cards to help bridge that gap and get them access to this in-person learning. In Seattle, Michael Crow, King 5 News.